All right. Um, <clears throat> we heard of MOSFETs uh, as being resistors or um, current sources and stuff like that. Well, uh, let's pause here to really understand what that means as to how a MOSFET behaves when it's a resistor or when a current source or we could also call it when it's in triode or in saturation as to how it behaves so uh, well you must have seen a lot of books that whoops that was a very bad line okay here we go still is a bad line still it's manage okay so we say that a MOSFET uh, has so and so IV characteristics. Let's consider the dotted lines to be straight. Let's say this is the drain current and say this is the uh, drain to source voltage. Okay? Alright. We say uh, maybe grab a different color. Okay, we say that till this point here it is triode and all this part is saturation. So just remember this diagram, we'll come back to it till later. So before we're doing that, let's understand what basic graphs are, curves are. Let's say this is the coordinate axis and when you want to name the axes as current or voltage, the first thing you have to understand is what is your controlling parameter. In a MOSFET, you're going to give some gate voltage to, car to uh, control the drain current, correct? That means the controlling factor is voltage and the controlled factor is current. The controlling factor should always be on the x-axis. Just like we do even for ECG. Have you seen? So what this happens, uh, what, ha what is on the x-axis is time and I think this is the magnitude of pulse or something. Well, it doesn't matter, but the controlling time is, controlling factor is time. That's what we control, but the pulses are what's read off the ECG. Likewise, here we control the voltage and the controlled parameter is current. So in a coordinate axis like this, let's say this is a straight horizontal line, just to say, and this is a straight vertical line. What does the horizontal line say? It says for any voltage, no matter what, any voltage, the current is constant. Let's say this is 1 amp, 2 and 3 amps. This is 0. No matter what voltage you give, my output is always going to be 3 amps. That means no matter what voltage you give, my output is always going to be constant current and a device that gives you constant current for no matter what voltage is called a current source likewise for the vertical line for any current your voltage is going to be constant so you guessed it right it's just a voltage source now what about a, uh, a line that looks like this passing through the origin and has this little slope here. Don't mind my all bent lines. Um, so what does this inclined line show? For one volt your current is one amp. For two volts your current is two amps. That means the slope of the line delta I to delta V is constant and even reverse. So, from our prehistoric definition of Ohm's law, what do we know? Under constant temperature and stuff like that, environmental conditions, 
the ratio of voltage to current in a given conductor is constant and is given by R, the resistance of the conductor. So, this sloped line shows the IV characteristics of a resistor. That means any time you see a sloped line on an IV curve, IV graph, you know it's got some resistance. If it doesn't have any, I mean, if it, uh, well, let's see here. If it doesn't have any inclination, it's going to be a current source or a voltage source. All right. So we'll come back to these two later. So now that you got that an inclined line always means resistance, let's go ahead and look at this here. This inclined line here you're seeing is that of a MOSFET when it is in triode. That means when it is in triode, well, it's more inclined than this line, but then it doesn't matter. When it is in triode, your MOSFET is going to behave like a resistor. Don't really worry about how much resistance. It's just a resistor. Okay? But look at the saturation thing. You might say that it does have a an inclination. But it's not necessarily it's not only a resistance. How do you know it's not only a resistance? If you extend this on that graph, your zero point is gonna be obtained somewhere here where the voltage is negative. So here your voltage is positive and you have some slope here and here you have a vo voltage is negative but you have a zero current so the slope's all it, it, well you can uh, it doesn't have a constant slope because it doesn't pass through the origin correct? Alright. Now what does that mean? That means the inclination when it is in saturation is at an elevation. Okay? It is lifted from the ground by a finite value, say, one milliamp. Correct? And above that, there is an inclination. That means, just consider this line to be a forklift. It lifts the basic value of current and it gives you a one milliamp and over and above that whatever voltage you give me I'll be increasing some current that means if there's a horizontal line what do we know it's a current source correct but there is also an inclined line let's say well let's see what this really means when a MOSFET is in saturation we know that an inclined is going to be a resistance and a horizontal thing is going to be a current source Let's see how this will work if they're both connected in series. One milliamp is the current given by the current source. If you see here for a MOSFET, this place is more than one milliamps, correct? That means there is an increase in current with increase in voltage. But in a series circuit, the total current here is going is is just one milliamps because in a series circuit the current remains constant. So what can we do to increase current here? You guess it right again. We have parallel connections. Here I'm getting one milliamps from the current source and say the resistance is any value say 5 kilo ohms there will be a current passing through this and here so whatever you get will be 1 milliamps plus some current from here which will be more than 1 milliamps correct that means in saturation a MOSFET behaves like a current source in parallel with a resistance Cool. See you later.